Hi friends, welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to activate the third person view in Apex Legends Season 5. It's actually quite a fun feature that will help you mix up your Apex experience and you can also combine it with the activated dummies or bots. I'll post a link to my tutorial on how to activate the dummies so they come alive um, in the description below and you can combine that with this third person view in Apex Legends. So it will create a really cool new experience for Apex Legends and I definitely suggest giving it a go. It's also quite useful for practicing and actually seeing your character's movement as you practice. Before I show you how to activate the third person view though, I'm happy to announce I'm going to do another Apex coin giveaway. Actually, this month I'm going to do two. This is the first one and it's live today. It's going to be a Twitter giveaway. All you have to do is go and follow me on Twitter and retweet my giveaway post. So I'll put a link to it in the description below. All you have to do is click to it, go to Twitter, follow me, and then just retweet that post. And then I'll select one lucky person to win a thousand Apex coins. It's really easy to do. It'll take one second and it's completely free and you can win a thousand Apex coins. So uh, yeah, go give it a go. And I really look forward to giving one of you a thousand Apex coins. You've got till next Saturday. So that's the 27th of June. And I'll announce on the 27th of June then who the winner of that Twitter giveaway is for a thousand Apex coins. Don't worry if you don't have Twitter. Keep a lookout for my videos this week because I will also do a bigger YouTube giveaway purely for my YouTube subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and have a look out for my videos coming later this week. And I'll be doing a bigger giveaway of Apex coins um, in, in that YouTube video. So keep a lookout for that. Let's get on to how to activate the 3D view then in Apex Legends. It's really simple and as I said it works in Season 5 so you can give it a go straight away today. I suggest starting by selecting someone like Pathfinder or Loba just to make it a little quicker. So here's what you want to do. You need to get to the top of the firing range and you want to look for the target in the top right. So kind of the furthest right target that you can see. You want to go all the way up to it and then use your tactical to get behind it. So you need to get behind the target. You can climb up as well, but it's easier, like I said, if you use someone that can actually use a tactical to get up and, and behind it. Or even Octane with his ultimate with a jump pad. So you want to run over there and then you can see this grassy area in the back. You want to crouch down and then you need to go in the corner, look down. So look all the way down and then change to any legend. Now this will only work if you're in the correct position. So watch this video carefully and make sure you copy how I do it and it should then work. So again, as I said, now you can see you're able to sort of run around and it also works with the bots. So if you activate the bots, you can then run around in third person view and also play around with the bots. So it's really cool. And there you have it, really simple. That's how you activate third person view. I hope this was useful, go give it a try. You need to go into the firing range to do it and it only works in the firing range. So yeah, go give it a try. Don't forget to like and subscribe and that will enable you to always see the latest tips and tricks like this for Apex Legends and some other top games as well. I do play a lot of other top games as well and I'll be releasing content for them soon. So thanks for watching, I really appreciate all the support. Don't forget my Apex Coins giveaways, so go check out Twitter today and keep a lookout for my videos coming later this week announcing my bigger YouTube giveaway. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you later.